Hello everyone, my name is Kirsty and I'm really excited to give you all a little update on Nairn Free Church and how we've been over the past year or so. For those of you who might not know, Nairn is a town in the Highlands. It is along the Murray coast and it's just to the east of Inverness. Prior to the pandemic, our church didn't really have much of an online presence. Um, the services were always recorded and posted on SoundCloud, but there were no videos accompanying that. So when the church was first closed in March last year, it was a little bit of a mad rush to try and figure out um, how to get the services online um, in a kind of video format. But thankfully, there were some very talented people in the congregation who were able just to kind of muddle together and get the videos up. And now we're very much in the swing of it. So every Sunday morning, the services are uploaded they're pre-recorded and then uploaded onto YouTube. Um, so you can go onto YouTube and find all the videos there. Like many other congregations, we've been using Zoom. Every week we have the prayer meeting over Zoom. There's also an office baiters prayer meeting, a ladies prayer meeting. Last summer, we had a ladies Bible study and book study. So we've been very thankful for Zoom and how the Lord has used Zoom for many, many churches across the world to meet together and fellowship with one another. Unfortunately, there were some things that we were running which weren't really able to carry on when the pandemic hit, like our parent and toddler group and our youth club. However, other things were able to carry on and we've been really encouraged by these things as well, particularly the Sunday club who have been meeting together online, um, who've been learning lots and who have even done a few fundraisers and donated money to some really wonderful organisations. So we're really proud of them. They've done a great job and we're very thankful for those who've been involved as well in making that happen. We are also really thankful to have been able to maintain some of the links with the community during this past year or so. We have a group in the congregation called Compassion in Crisis, who work alongside social workers in Nairn to put together um, food parcels or just kind of anything really that helps with families in the community who are going through a time of crisis. So we've been thankful to have been able to maintain that over the past year. We've also been really thankful to work alongside our local Sainsbury's and put together some food hampers that have been delivered to families in need in the community. Sainsbury's have been brilliant and they were very kind as well to give us a generous donation at the end of last year, which was really lovely and we're so thankful that we get to work alongside them. I think many people in our congregation would agree that one of the things we've missed the most in the past year is our schools events. There are four primary schools in the Nairnshire area and the idea is that over the course of the seven years that they're in primary school they should have attended at least one Easter event, harvest event and Christmas event in the church building. Obviously over the last year that's not been possible but we've been really thankful and excited to have been able to record some videos which have then been put into the schools and the children have been able to watch them. We love our local schools and we love the relationship that we've been able to have with them. And it's really great that we've been able to maintain that even over the pandemic. There is so much to be thankful for and so much that we can be encouraged by. We're so thankful that we were able to maintain all of our financial commitments. So thankful for the technology, which has enabled us to meet together online when we haven't been able to fellowship in person. And so thankful and so encouraged that new people have been coming along. In the short period of time last year, where we were able to meet in person, we had new people coming along to the church. We've heard of people who are watching the online services regularly who might never have come to church before. And just the reach that YouTube has allowed us to have, um, people being able to watch the services from all over the place. It's just been amazing and so encouraging. The past year has been extremely difficult and challenging in so many ways, but if there's one thing that we can take from it, it is that God is always in control. There's absolutely nothing that he cannot do and definitely no obstacle which could ever stop the spread of the gospel. So it's been really exciting and really encouraging and we are so, so, so thankful to God. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please remember Nairn Free Church and the town of Nairn in your prayers. And when all the restrictions are lifted, please come and visit us. Thank you very much and God bless. Bye.